And that's why I chose not to honor his statements. But now, since it's out of the bag, and you will permit me, do you still have the manifestation? Because I, I will have to make a manifestation. Because I didn't want yeah. to bring it out. I will bring it out in the open. But yes. I'm always very transparent. Yes, Mr. Chair. There's, if no, I'm... there's no ifs and buts when I speak. I always go out and ask their questions directly. If I may Please go ahead. be allowed to proceed, but, but this, this to sure, continue we have a long day. with my, with my manifestation. Long day. All right. As I was saying, because I was also conversing with uh, the chairman of the CHR, Chito Gascon, about the matter. And he was also, he was explaining to me that it would be difficult for them as an institution to issue an apology in relation to the statements of a member or a commissioner. And uh, they are worried about its implications also on the CHR as an institution. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be careful with the words. The expectation of the chair and the committee and the Senate is that the chairman of the Commission on Human Rights talk to this individual. And if he does not agree, the proper and correct thing to do would be to say, we dissociate ourselves completely with the statement of this individual. Unless the Commission on Human Rights is now saying they agree with the uh, statement made by this individual. That's a matter that's different from what the gentle lady is saying. I did not demand any apology. You know, apologies are made by gentlemen on their own. You know, you cannot demand an apology. You cannot demand respect. Respect is earned. And somebody comes out, maybe because he wants to have his two minutes of fame, Guru gusto niya lang sumikat, kaya hindi ko pinatulan po eh. Hindi ko po siya pinatulan, kaya lang nilabas na nga dahil tinatamaan na yung Senado na napakapangit ng sinabi. Ang nakalagay ko sa headline eh, uh, CHR slams Gordon for suspension of Senate inquiry. In the first place, I cannot suspend anything without a motion. And there were senators at that time uh, who were asking for a suspension already to terminate, in fact. Uh, and I said, no, uh, it was just an oversight on the part of Senator De Lima. She's trying to explain uh, about the failure to show that there was actually evidence being presented that was not known to us, and that was the NBI document that showed different witnesses, different principles than what was alleged by Mr. Matobato in three contrarian counter affidavits. The affidavit of Batabato, first of all, saying that he did not take part in the killing of uh, this uh, Makdum. And then the second affidavit, again, saying that he saw the killing, and the Allah has a leg, that he did not participate, and that he saw certain policemen that he knew who was there, and then finally, on the third one, he now says, in open hearing, kami ang pumaday, kasama ako, ako nagbikti, ako ang sumaksak, kasama ko yung kanyang kasama, eh hindi naman ho namin nalalaman na yung palang NBI, eh may report, at nung lumabas yan, sabi ko, pahintayin natin, if I don't deal in sana, or kung sana, pero kung talagang tutuusin, Dapat ang sinabi ninyo ay ilabas natin yung dokumento. At that time, pinapalabas ko na yung dokumento. As it was, lumabas yung dokumento ng NBI, which is an official investigation report, filing a case against Mr. Matabato. Ang nakalagay na police ay completely different from the policeman that he was accusing in open court, in open hearing. Eh, di talaga nagsisinuwaling na yung tao. Pero hindi ito bali. I'm not here to judge anybody so far. Pero nung lumabas na nga ho yung dokumento na yan, eh, hindi ba dapat naalaman ng komite yun? Kaya, nagalit na ho yung ibang kasama natin, hindi ko nababanggitin, inaawat ko nga lahat tayo, eh sana kung pwede lang, kayo nag-motion, as you did today, mag-motion kayo for suspension, eh hindi eh, nung dumating na si Senator Trillanes, Ang taas na rin kayo ng boses, eh, hindi naman po pwede yung chairman, itatamay-may na lang. Hindi naman po pwede na magkakagulo yung Senado. At ako yung matras pa nga, sige ho, sabi ko, continue. Eh, that was, un that was uh, really uncalled for. And that is why the 
I was going to deliver a privilege speech and ask for an ethics investigation, which I did not. And in fairness to you, without even you coming to me, it was Senator Trillanes who came into my office uninvited and he apologized. And I did not even announce that to the media. The media is here. They asked me, I did not even use the word apology. But since Lubalabu na namang usapin, ayoko nga palabuin ito dahil dapat matapos na tayo dito. Gusto ko matapos na ito eh. Dapat tapos tayo ngayong araw na ito eh. Eh, tila ito yung magtatapos tayo, may lumalabas sa bagong issue. Kahapon no, hindi ko inanunsyo na nagpunta kayo sa opisina ko. And I was appreciative. We were very kind and gentle to one another. I even said, kausapin mo yung human rights because hindi naman tama yung ginawa. Wala ako sa mga naloob kay Chairman Gaston at siya'y tumawag sa akin. Pero dapat, it is authorized na lumayo sila sa statement na yon in black and white because this is the Senate. And when you say words like, there's every reason to believe it is Gordon who is afraid of hearing, I challenge him as a commissioner. The only way for him to recover his credibility as chairman is to continue with the hearing, which I did not say I was not going to continue. And listen to the other witnesses. Otherwise, there is every reason to believe he is the coward. Matawalan ko naman ako eh. I don't, you know, he can call me a coward, he can call me anything because I, I know who I am. And not matubato or dilemma, Kadi said. Ngayon, nabangkit ko na yung sinabi niya. No? And then he says, so what are they talking about? That Matubato was running away, afraid to confront the other witnesses. Hindi naman ho ako nagpaalis kay Matubato eh. Tumakas ho in the middle of the night. After 13 hours of hearing, tumakas. Eh, pinatawad na nga ho natin yan. Eh, sinantabi na nga natin yan para matapos na ito eh. Eh ngayon, lumabas naman ito ngayon. Kaya lang naman ako, medyo may himutok ng konti. Tumawag sa akin si chairman at sabi niya, aayusin niya at sasabihin niya, they will dissociate it. Pero ano ang lumabas? Ang lumabas, hindi ko na sinabi ito kahapon sa kwadel, mali ito ba kayo, papalakihin, pero alam ko na kung anong klase ang mga tao. Sa akin o, pag nagsalita kayo ng sasalita at hindi nyo sinunod, alam ko na kung sino kayo. Hindi ano ko, pag nagsalita, talagang susundi ko yung sinabi ko. Ano ang sinabi o? The Commission hopes that the Senate will come up with fair and credible results. Aba. The title of the, 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 this uh, commission, this committee that I did not even want to take over, is Committee on Justice and Human Rights. I don't need a commission to tell me about our human rights. I belong to a very good organization, and I've been there for 48 years, and we try to uplift humankind and alleviate human suffering and human dignity. Now, at the same time, under Senator Richard Gordon's chairmanship of the Senate, this is a, a statement that came out from the Human Rights Commission on Justice and Human Rights. The Commission continues to pray that the committee will succeed in ferreting out the truth. So, siyempre, when Senator Subiri came out with that, I had to answer already. And we are not taking out human rights out of the equation. I just said, under the circumstances, kung pinagdududahan niyo ang committee, ang, ang committee na Senado, huwag na kayo pumunta rito because the Commission on Human Rights under the Constitution is allowed to investigate and recommend the filing of cases. Ipapadala niyo ang kaso rito ng mga testigo ninyo na pailan na ni Senate ni General Bato ni General Bato natulong ni Hiro na tuloy kay Bato Bato at kay Bato <laughs> eh napailan na at pinuntahan ka agad yung unang witness dito nakabuti nga yun eh inimbestiga na kagad yun eh at ang sabi ko nga sa totoo lang eh lahat huya may testigo dali na natin sa polis pailan na ng polis pag hindi ginawa ng polis yung kanilang sabaho saka natin imbestiga ng polis kung talagang rank ang negligence nila ang direlection of duty o ang pagsunod may malfeasance o misfeasance o nonfeasance eh sa akin o oh, in spite of maraming requests and I don't wanna be petty pati nga ho expenses ng human rights isa-charge sa committee 
Eh, okay lang sa akin yun, walang problema. Pero, wag naman. Kung ayaw niyong respetuhin ang naging imbestiga, wag na kayong pumunta rito. Dahil hindi naman niyo kami re-respetuhin, hindi niyo re-respetuhin ang Senado, wag na, mag-aaway lang kami ni uh, Chairman Gaston, na kaibigan ko, tiga UP, at uh, kahit na ibang partido niya, hindi ko sinasama yon pero magkaibigan kami, because ako rin, may partido rin ako, pero wala ako sinasabing bias siya. Ang sinasabi ko lang, do not come here if you do not want to respect the committee, if you do not want to respect the institution of the Senate. But if I were to be asked, as chairman, and I've been chairman of SBMA, I've been chairman of other positions, as secretary, there is always me who will speak. And when I'm going to attack somebody, I will do it myself. I will not have any member na magkakagulo. You will recall, ang komilek nung araw, nagsasalita isang commissioner, nagsasalita isang commissioner, and there was a spectacle na nag-aaway yung commission. Ang hinahingi ko lang, if any, at kung hindi ako mapipigbigyan, okay lang, sabihin ni Chair Van Gaston, eh, he does not speak for us, we dissociate ourselves completely from him, at huwag naman yung spokesman na hindi ko man lang kalikilala kung sino yun, eh, respetuhin niya naman ang Senado. So, now, we talked about this in the recess, so I will go to the, cut to the chase. You are going to raise a question that Kailangan may three-day rule? Yes, sir. No. Uh, that's why I raised it before the committee, uh, before the whole session. I said, because of this, I am constrained uh, to go on with the hearing, call the police, and continue it and finish it without the Commission on Human Rights, because if they don't want to respect us, we will not uh, bring them over. Because anyway, they have witnesses. Submit your witnesses. We will give it to the police. They will investigate. I don't have to investigate. We are not policemen here. We are here to create an aid of legislation. Tapos na po yun. Nasa isip ko na ho, susulat ho, by Monday, we will come out with a report. Linis na lang ho itong gagawin namin para matapos na yung mga tatanungin namin sa mga polis. Kung meron tayo ita, uh, nakitang uh, ginawa ng kapulisan na lapastangan sa karapat ng pantao, i-file po natin ang kaso sa polis. I-file lang human rights. Hindi po pwede kami mag-file. I can file on my own separate and individual capacity, but the Committee on Justice can only make a report, and it is up to the Senate President to refer it to the Ombudsman, to the Police Commission, or to whatever, na mag-file sila. In the meantime, I do not intend to waste any more time on the issue. I don't want to be arrogant. If you disagree, take it to the floor of the Senate, again, which has been done yesterday. We are going to hear, and who knows? I am against, just to show you, I am against the death penalty. My father was assassinated. A niece of mine was, was badly murdered by a houseboy. Nahuli ng mga polis, mayroon ko noon. Sabi, patayin na namin, huwag niyong papatayin. Ikulong natin. Ngayon may bill dito, na kinausap ako ng ilang mga senador, ano ba ang solusyon dyan? Payagan nyo na ang death penalty sa mga drugs. Para siguro, imbis na nagkakapatay sa drugs, i-file na lang ang kaso. Eh, gusto-gusto ko yun. Pero, I will not support the death penalty. Because sa akin, mas masama, mas mahusay, ikulong, wag lang preso kabalyero. Yun lang ang gusto ko sabihin dito para malinaw na ho. And I will give you a minute to conclude para matapos na po. That is what I'd like to state here. In front of Chairman Gaston, who's there, I would like nothing better for him to come here. But for so long, as Chairman Gaston and the Commission does not dissociate himself from this rogue individual, whom I don't even know, the Senate doesn't even know, who dares accuse the Senate of all of cowardice, I'm a senator. You know, sabi niya sa harap ko yan, I... Ay, ay, hindi naman ako matapang na tao pero huwag niyo sasabihin sa harap ko alam ko naman magaling magtago yung mga cowards eh. the real cowards are those who die a thousand deaths because they cannot confront so they want to confront to the newspaper take it to the newspapers it sells the press I'm not going to reply to it because I will not even give it the dignity kaya lang lumabas ito because ito nangyari it is a failure on the part of the Commission of Human Rights on being judgmental. That is my personal opinion. 
that if I was chairman of the Human Rights Commission, isang tao ko, isang commissioner ko nagsalita, partner naman, hindi naman dapat siya sinabi mo. I would have to dissociate myself from that statement. And any other commissioner here can dissociate himself if they wish to. But please do not write me a letter saying we hope and pray that the Senate will ferret out justice. That is what we are here for. To ferret out the truth and to go to justice. That is what I accepted this commission for. I am overloaded and I like it. I am used to work. 13 hours. That has never been done here on committee hearing. I had to, uh, all the others had to suffer for it. My staff has to suffer. The staff of the senators had to suffer. Six hours before. So, tapat ho, respetuhin niyo. Hindi kami nagbibiruan dito. Gusto namin matapos ito para maka agwanta po tayo. And if I may say, lahat kami ayaw namin ng patayan. Walang Pilipinong gustong patayan. And the surveys of the president even show that. Popular ang presidente, pero ayaw namin yung patayan. You all know that. Hindi ho ako sumusunod sa uso. Kanya-kanyang paninindigan. Yun lang ho. May I continue, Mr. Chair? Yes, you may. You have a minute. Thank you. I do not wish to make any counter manifestation or counter statement in reference to what happened during that that uh, proceedings on which led to the outbursts. So uh, may I just go back to the two points that I was uh, mentioning. First, in relation to the suspension of uh, hearing out the uh, CHR witnesses on account of these unfortunate comments and statements from one of the commissioners. I am constrained, with due respect, Mr. Chair, to uh, suggest or even to move that we allow the Chair of the Commission on Human Rights to speak, say something, because certain statements are also being uh, attributed to him. My statements and the statements of the Honorable Chair. So I think it is but just fair, just and right that we give the chair of the Commission on Human Rights to make a statement to explain the side of the Commission on Human Rights because the CHR witnesses have been prepared, have been ready, have been waiting since day one of this ongoing Senate inquiry from the first hearing where I presided. They were there They've, and some of them come from the province and they've been waiting to be presented before this body. Yes, this issue about the unfortunate statements attributed to one commissioner has created this situation where both institutions seem to be now at loggerheads. Institutional integrity, institutional, uh, what? It's, it's institutional integrity because while I was talking to the chair, he's also pointing, she's, he's also saying that this also involves the CHR as an institution. If the CHR will simply issue an apology for something that he has not done or stated as an institution. There are other remedies, Mr. Chair. If we want to go after the so-called rogue commissioner because of such expressions of his opinion, such expressions of his sentiments also with respect to the goings on in, in the ongoing, in, in the Senate inquiry, there are other legal remedies like first requiring him to show cause. Why? I'm sorry, he should not be, has expired. He should not be cited in contempt. I, I, it's sorry. also my prerogative, Mr. Chair. The ladies' minute has expired. The committee has the prerogative to continue on with the hearings. I'm sorry. I have a motion, Mr. Chair. Go ahead and find the motion. State the motion. Can we, can we tackle this? Because it's a no, motion. State the motion. Do not, uh, do not do so. Do my, not motion, the... my motion is for the committee to allow or give opportunity for the CHR chairperson, chairperson uh, Gascon, to explain the position of the Commission on Human Rights on this issue about 
the uh, statements being attributed to one commissioner. And secondly, Your Honor, I have not gone yet to the second point with respect to the issue of whether or not it is proper for us to tackle the death penalty bill in the absence of uh, compliance with the three-day notice rule. Yes, this was mentioned yesterday by the good chair in the course of the proceedings yesterday at the Senate by way of his comment or reaction to the privileged speech of a member. But let's take note, please. Let's remember that the, the matter of the EJ case is before a committee or two committees, the Committee on Justice and Human Rights and the Committee on uh, Public Order and illegal drugs. The matter is not before the plenary. And there was no proper reasonable opportunity also to go over and study the death penalty bills. I, for one, just like the good chair, is against the death penalty. I want to participate thoroughly in the discussions and the deliberations, and therefore I would want reasonable opportunity also to tackle that bill. Let us invite also appropriate resource persons in tackling a very important piece of legislation, the death penalty bill. We cannot just infuse it in the ongoing inquiry into the extrajudicial killings because that is the very subject matter of this inquiry. So I raise a point of order, and I would want that also decided on by the committee. I will not be dissuaded from that. So I have two motions, Mr. Chair. You Thank you very much. You can only have one motion at a time, and you're, over, you're, uh, you're out of order. Let me just say this. Yesterday you apologized to me, and I did not even bring it up. Now you're going against the issue, and you're going against the grain. Now let me, let me just finish. You cannot control this uh, uh, the way you controlled it last time. I, I don't want to fight with you. I respect you. But let me just point out, I am not going to veer from the purpose of this investigation. The whole hearings have been, you know, so convoluted by all kinds of detours. The hearing started with an investigation on extrajudicial killing, and then all of a sudden, from out of the blue, an individual named Matabato was brought in, no affidavits, and the hearing was conducted that resulted in a fiasco where, unprecedentedly, the chairman was removed for lack of objectivity. And yet, you cannot blame this representation because I went over backwards again. Without postponing the hearing, we went on as scheduled. We continued with Mr. Matobato, even if it was going to derail. Already, there were already inconsistencies. And we're not judging. We can prove that. I have all the charts to show that. But we continued on with that. It was a wild goose chase. And at the last minute, he disappeared. After 13 hours, when the moment of truth was going to go there for the confrontation with the people he was going to be, he was accusing, he left, only to discover that he had a pending warrant of arrest. And now he's incarcerated in jail. And he should be brought to justice. You know, I, it's not far from, you know, I don't know, fried chicken. I'm not, I'm not involved with fried chicken here. It's not a question of pride. I mean, I don't care if you apologize or not. I thank you for it. I think that's very noble, but that's okay. Let's finish. I did not even go there. Even before your apology, I said I'm not going to go and bring the Senate to another distraction. People are saying we should concentrate on traffic. We should concentrate on peace and order. We should concentrate on other things. Here comes another distraction. We cannot be forever distracted. I, he is my friend until now. He is here. I did not say anything against him. Would you like me to read his, co his statement, his text? I will not present him here, but I, with your permission, uh, Chairman Gaston, I will read it because it speaks about you as a gentleman, but unfortunately it didn't happen. And I will quote, alam niyo, ito na text sa akin si Senator, si Chairman Gaston, baka maging Senator yung balang araw. Ano sabi po niya? Binasa ko po ito si Senado Kapon. Kaya sabi ko, hindi na kailangan eh. 
Good evening po, Senator Gordon. I am currently in Amsterdam and heard about the news report that one of our commissioners criticized you. This is not the position of the commission and bank. And I, sabi niya, and I apologize for whatever aggravation this may have caused you and the honorable members of the Senate Justice and Human Rights Committee. I've spoken to the other commissioners and hope, and we hope to make it right. We hope to make it right. May I please call you? Thanks and God bless. And I replied to him, and we talk. Sabi niya, ako sabi niya ibang commissioners. Eh, an lumas lumabaso eto. Did I did I bring this out? I did not. I did not. Senator Sabiri saw a newspaper report na, that we were being slammed. Uh, that, you know, we, the CHR was slamming the committee. So he stood up. And when he stood up, I had to stand up already. Now, sa akin, wala ho yan. The apology, the personal apology of, Senator, of Chairman Gascon is taken into consideration. I respect him as a gentleman. He doesn't have to apologize to me. The least this guy could do is apologize for himself. But the point here is when the commission is dragged, when the headline... What is the newspaper? Not here. When the, new, when the newspaper, which I brought in a while ago, uh, came in and says, big, big headline, CHR, eh, talagang magkakaroon talaga ng issue dyan, which I did not raise. Tama na sa akin yan. Sabi na ni Chairman Gaston, pero lumabas na nga yan, pero lumabas na nga, ano ba ang gagawin? Papapuntahin niyo pa si Chairman Gaston and we will be diverted. I think that I don't have to do that. I think, eto binasa ko na, that's good enough for me. Mr. Chair, I'm withdrawing momentarily my second motion while we take up my first motion. I'm reiterating. Uh, the, the chair is confused. Which motion are you talking my about? First you motion, have two motions. My first motion, Mr. Chair, is to allow the chair of the Commission on Human Rights to speak and to explain the side of the Commission on Human Rights on this issue at hand. Thank you. That is a pending motion. It has to be resolved first. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be any member of the committee here. Are we going to vote each other here? <laughs> you know, technicalities must always give way to substantial justice. I move to suspend. I move to suspend, Mr. Chair. I don't understand it. I really do not understand. When you make something, you know, you accuse the president, sasabihin ka nun, you withdraw. Ako, ah, i-accuse him. Hindi po, let's not sorry kayo. go to that, Tapos, Mr. Chair. Dito, let's not go to that. And you will sorry. You will say sorry. And now, There is a particular matter again. at hand, so... Excuse me, what are you trying to tell me? Um, hindi po uh, appropriate na nag, kung ano-ano naman po ang uh, hinahalo uh, niyo na issue. Anong hinahalo? Ikaw ang naghahalo. And I am not going to, hindi kita papatulan. Oh, sige, there's a motion. Let's vote. We have a quorum. One senator, two senators are here. Let's vote. There's a motion that says we should bring Senator Gas uh, Chairman Gaston here. But senator na palagi, tatlong beses na, baka mag-senator ka na. <laughs> All right? As many as are in favor of bringing Senator G uh, Chairman Gaston, pag-apot na, uh, to testify here. As I many as are against? Oh, walang, walang boto. What do we do now? Then I raise the second motion. We defer at the moment. The motion is overruled because there is no vote. Okay? I will raise it again at the proper time. You can raise anything at the proper time. May I raise the second motion or reiterate my second motion on the uh, propriety of taking up the death penalty bill without compliance with the three-day notice rule before this committee. I move that we defer the taking up 
of the death penalty bill. Until such time, the various compliance with the three-day notice rule to afford the members, the other members of the committee, sufficient notice as well as notice to resource persons. Is there a second? There appears to be no second motion, so the motion is overruled. <coughs> Let's proceed. You may bring it up to the floor next time. It's better to bring it to the floor where everybody is here, because I brought it to the floor last time and you were there, you did not say anything, we shall now do it. You know, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't really cherish this uh, discussions uh, that are, uh, 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 Senator Raquel, will you be, are you ready to make your presentation on the death Just for the record, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, just for the record, you are speaking on the, the record all the time. The we plenary, have not the microphone. The plenary proceedings yesterday was not the proper forum or venue. I stand corrected. To raise you are, you are the all matter. obviously you all have the answers, and I bow to your knowledge. It is brilliant. The proper forum is, is before brilliant. the committees themselves, not the plenary, because the matter of the EJ case is and the other. And even the noted, death, noted, the death penalty noted, bill, the chair will now proceed. Has been go referred ahead, uh, already. Ahead. Senator Pacquiao is to recognized. The committee. You are not recognized anymore. Thank you. Uh, para, uh, I'm not going to ask him to apologize for his commission because he's not the one who said it. But uh, uh, I just want to assure you, Mr. Chairman, that uh, all the affidavits you submitted here, we will turn over to the police for proper enforcement and that we will make sure that uh, as part of our report, uh, uh, we did not ignore anybody here. It's just, uh, I'm just so sorry that that guy uh, is a loose cannon of sorts. And uh, uh, go ahead, if you may want to make a statement now under more harmonious conditions, you can do so. I just didn't like the idea that uh, uh, some uh, representation was trying to bamboozle us uh, by forcing us to I recognize uh, a travesty, uh, not to recognize a travesty upon the Senate. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Your Honors, the Honorable Chairman and members of the two committees. Uh, we are grateful for this opportunity to address you this afternoon. Uh, we do wish to express that the Commission on Human Rights is always ready and prepared to assist the Senate committees in the work, the great work it's doing of ferreting out the truth on this issue, on extrajudicial killings, as well as on all other issues involving human rights. We as a Commission on Human Rights acknowledge and work closely with the Senate in previous times, at the present and in the future on all matters that will involve the best interest of our people in the area of human rights. We do want to say that we respect the Honorable Chairman of the Committee, Senator Dick Gordon, as well as all the other members of this committee, and are confident that as this process is terminating, it will uh, shed light on this matter, even as we continue to pursue truth and justice in other fora. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you very much. We were not looking for a pat in the back, but thank you. thanks anyway. Uh, we just want you to know that we're gonna be fair we are stalwarts in our efforts to try and provide human rights. Not provide because that is guaranteed, but to make sure that human rights is enforced. And uh, I hope the policemen are all listening to the words of uh, the Senate here, the message that we're trying to, bro uh, to bring in here that uh, uh, especially the law, law enforcement authorities you have been imbued with certain privileges such as carrying a firearm, enforcing the law, which is a great privilege of trust and therefore with that privilege comes the responsibility that you must acquit yourselves before this country and your families. That you will implement it, you know, in the proper way, in a way that uh, respects life, the preciousness of life, and the effectivity of law uh, without uh, fear or favor. And that is all that is expected. And uh, this is uh, uh, something that I think we all should really try and make an effort on to try and not just show the whole world but show ourselves show our children that we are capable of running a democracy that uh, where when we see wrong we will try to right it and we will not be fearful 
to say the things that we have to say no matter who we say it against because in democracy there's democratic space to talk about it, to talk about the problems and solve problems. Uh, so we can Pilipino po para maindidan ng lahat na nakikinig, narinig po natin ang magiting na chairman ng Commission on Human Rights, hindi po dahil siya ay kasama namin sa pamantasan ng Pilipinas, ngunit uh, lahat po kami naiintindihan namin ang katungkulan natin bilang mga kalal o talagang mga kawali ng gobyerno, pati yung mga kapulisan dito at ang commitment po natin dito sa grado na talagang maipairal yung talagang karampatan pantao, ay yung respeto sa tao yung dignidad ng tao at uh, kinukundin, natin natin, kinukundin na natin ang pagpatay ng, uh, ng tao na, na hindi talaga mapapaliwanagan ng maayos at uh, uh, lahat uh, Uh, gusto ko lang pong paabot ang aking lubos na pasasalamat sa mga kapulisan. Nakita po natin dito na dumating lahat dito. Pinatawag po natin lahat ang mga pulis dito ng iba't ibang distrito uh, ng ating bayan. At uh, ito yung advice ng ating mga kasama dito sa, uh, sa committee ng uh, uh, public order at saka ng justice at saka ng uh, human rights. At dumalogo sila lahat dito. Nangangulugan Uh, wala tinatago at sumagot sila sa lahat ng tanong. At uh, hihilingin ko pa, isang hirit pa ko, eh, bigyan nyo sa amin yung statistics ninyo sapagat basarin na po kayo katulad ng sinabi ni Commissioner ni Chairman Honasan, Chairman ng uh, Committee on National Defense uh, na dapat eh, ayusin nyo information. We are living in an information uh, revolution. Tapos na yung revolution. Umiira pa na mas mataas ngayon. Dapat nakukuha natin lahat ang statistika ng mga namamatay, ng mga na, na nakawan at lahat para handa tayo sumagot kagad sa katungunan. The Chair uh, would like to pay particular attention to some of the interventions here by some police officers, particularly the one in Metro Manila, in Manila, and practically all, Bulacan, Quezon City, that really represents a high degree of professionalism na walang patumpintumpik sumasagot sa mga tinatanong natin at meron kayong handang statistics. The very fact na mataas pa nga ang lumalabas sa inyo kaysa nakalap ng mga staff ko sa committee at papasalamatan ko rin yung miyembro ko sa uh, committee, yung mga tao namin sa committee at yung mga tumutulong sa akin na nakakalap ay uh, nagpapatunay na walang tinatago tayo makukuha natin ang mga uh, statistika ng patayan at lahat at ang mangyayari na lang ngayon ay humanap tayo ng mga solusyon para matanggalin natin ang pagkakataon na pag-abuso ng mga kriminal sa ating mga batas whether they're in uniform or in not. Pare-pareho yan. Pagka gimuha kayo ng kamalian, you are a criminal. You violate the law, violate the rights of the people. So having said all that, Mr. Uh, uh, Chairman Lacson uh, and uh, Senator Nassan uh, and all the uh, police chiefs present here at the NBI, uh, Director General of the PIDEA, Uh, representatives of the Committee on uh, Justice, uh, the NBI are here. Uh, it's been a roller coaster ride, but uh, I assure you, we are going to come out with the report. And uh, take heed of that report because uh, we all have to learn something from it. And it will be a sustainable report because I can tell you part of it will mean we get reports, at least whoever succeeds me in this committee or in the House. We must now get copies of the reports of murders and homicides regularly, and it may, can be published as suggested by Senator Hunasan in the one hour a day program allotted to public uh, service by all media. At, uh, we will also uh, strengthen the, the capability of the police force and find out, as uh, Senator Hunasan rightly said, it is budget time. Perhaps we can provide at least the beginnings of body cameras to be worn by special units of the police force when they operate uh, or for that matter uh, uh, you know other suggestions that are going to be made and will be made during the discussions and hopefully I will really try to get it done by Monday that you'll have a report right away on Monday uh, so that uh, the public will be uh, assuaged that uh, we are all watching for each other here. May not be perfect, but we will try. Uh, so 
Ladies and gentlemen, maraming maraming salamat po. Senator uh, Manas, I would just like to clarify uh, my motion earlier, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my motion covers only the hearings on the resolution of Senator Dilima and Senator Trillanes on the EJK killings. Yes. But I, I move to suspend the hearings on the death penalty bills as referred to the Committee on Justice. Definitely. Uh, that is, uh, the, the motion was clear to me, and I know that uh, the clarification is aptly made. Uh, we're not suspending the provision. In part, like I said earlier, I may be against the death penalty, but kung ito ay makakapagpatigil ng patayan na ginaganap ng mga iba dyan para ma madali sila sa pamaraan ng pagkogobyerno, eh, I am not going to go against it. I will not vote for it, but I will not go against it. Somebody will have to do it for them. But anyway, uh, uh, hindi titigil yan. Tutuloy natin yan yung sa Committee on the Death Penalty, although that has been referred also to the Committee of uh, Senator Dillon. Uh, the referral to us was death penalty due to drugs, for drugs, for drug offenses. So, uh, having said that caveat, maybe we can even ask Senator Dillon, uh, the chairman of the committee on rules, to join us for the discussions on the death penalty. I hope uh, we were able to tackle sufficiently the issues. Like I said, ang pinag-uusapan dito ay in aid of legislation, and the Commission on Human Rights, particularly the Chairman, uh, can make suggestions. We will consider it formally in writing, if you like. Uh, and the police can do so. Uh, try to do it uh, as soon as possible. I will entertain a motion to suspend uh, release of the report. If you have, you know, allow me that, if, we, if, there, if, if, if it is humanly impossible to come out with the entire report for a few days extension, just to be sure. But my intention is to try and get it out by Monday. So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo and uh, sa inyong malasakit, sa inyong mga kagitingan at sana uh, patuloy nyo linisin ang ating kapulisan. Meron ilang lang nakasira dyan at sana patuloy tayong basbasan ang ating Panginoon Diyos. God bless the Philippines. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa napaka mainit na pagbati, pag-welcome sa akin. This is such a respite, a welcome break for me. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I would not know what kind of day I'll be facing. You know, I live by the day. Hindi ko talaga alam kung ano na naman ang mga maririnig ko, makikita ko sa dyaryo, makikita sa social media, although I avoid going over my Facebook nowadays. Let me start by making this clear. Lest some of you or many of you have started to believe or are in fact believing everything that they, that they see on television, on the social media, those hearings in the House of Representatives. I am not the bad and evil woman or slut that they're trying to portray the past few weeks. I have not parted with or slept with any drug convict. I have not received anything from a drug convict or a drug lord or anyone else. I have not received two million in one meeting in one of those convicts of the office of the former director. I have not received three million a week, uh, a month, I think that's what they said, a month since 2012. I did not receive 10 million from anyone let alone a drug convict. I did not receive five million in two or three occasions in my house from a former official of uh, Bucor. I have not benefited from the drug trade. I am not the queen of the drug trade 
of the Bilibid. I am not the mother of these drug lords. And my, I am not one who won as a member of the Senate and has turned this country into a narco state. Because in the first place, our country is far from being a narco state. And yes, as a human being, as a woman, I have frailties, I have weaknesses, I have certain flaws as a woman, I made mistakes in my personal life. And I've always considered my personal life as a private matter. It's a sacred thing to me. But that now they've been intruding and encroaching into my privacy. Yes, I made mistakes. And when I do make mistakes in my personal life, I pick up the pieces and move on. But never did I betray my country. I want that made clear because that's what I fear that some of you may have started to believe the relentless, vicious attacks being launched and led by the most powerful man in this country. With that note, allow me please to now give you my core messages for today's forum. And I thank the organizers of this forum, the women's groups, particularly the group of Professor Sok, because we've been doing this precisely to generate much awareness among our populace, especially you young people, young students, beautiful students of Miriam. We need to raise awareness 